guys, hey, so it's Tuesday night, about to be Wednesday, and I believe that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so I'm four days post-op, if you don't count Friday, because, yeah, I'm going to say four days post-op. Um, everybody's been asking me what it looks like, so I thought before I take my shower, I would go ahead and give you guys kind of like a um, an in-depth look at having my panaculectomy done. I'm very, very sore. I'm in a lot of pain. Um, I am able to stand up straight, which I heard a lot of people can't do after their panaculectomies. Um, I am, uh, I do have dog ears that you're going to see. Hopefully you guys won't be too, <laughs> too mean to me because I am doing this for other people who have the same kind of issues and who are worried about what it's going to be like. First of all, I had some questions about this right here. It's actually a bug bite. I'm actually really allergic to mosquitoes and I get the big welts. So um, let's just go ahead and start with my tummy. Okay, I'm gonna just slide that back in there and I'm gonna come a little closer. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it down. I'm only wearing underwear for your guys's, you know, for, for your viewing pleasure, otherwise you would see my, my curly bits. So, um, I'm very, very, very swollen. Um, I do have a lot of bruising, and it starts right here. Go ahead and get close. Um, that is a small dog ear right there, which will flatten out over time. I'm okay with that. My hands are clean. Um, I'll move my dreams out of the way. And this was completely flat, but you have to understand I'm very, very, very swollen. So it, right now it's kind of pooching out. Um, I'm going to get close enough for you. So absolutely beautiful. He did save my belly button, as you can see. Um, that way, you know, I guess a lot of people like to keep their belly button, and he didn't want to go up that far, and I'm okay with that. So here's the other side. So as you can see, dog ear, and you will look and see all of these red patches. That is just where the tape is. I'm very allergic to tape. I still have my back fat. Um, I did get a rather upsetting comment um, on one of my pictures on Facebook that I, <laughs> um, that I look like I came from a chop shop, um, that whoever did my surgery, um, I should get my money back and that I don't look very good and, you know, I should be happy that, you know, they got off anything at all. And I was like, I didn't respond. Um, I deleted the comment and then blocked that person. So, uh, you know, if any negative yucky comments come along with this video, that too will be deleted. So you can see there's... There's more here, and then some bruising here, and you see some tape residue. I'm about to take a shower to try to get rid of some of this residue that's left. Um, you can see right now how small I would be if this was not swollen, and if he had pulled this skin down like he said he wasn't going to do it, and you know, I woke up knowing that that wasn't something he was going to do, um, but it is very swollen, so I'm just going to show you that okay so I'm not trying to gross anybody out um, my underwear doesn't fit <laughs> because I my waist is now um, a little further down the where it normally would be and I don't feel comfortable having anything in there I also will add a small excerpt of how I clear my drains so we'll get close enough for you to see the bruising on that and it's not as easy as you think. Um, number two, they are not, they're numbered. Number two is a, is a little more productive than number one is. Um, I just fixed that one. Hold on, guys. I just uh, it's called milking, to be honest. And it's you know uh, you'll see the you will see the the clip that I made for you. All right. So here are my drains. Um, so just. Look at all that. Look how I think I look wonderful. Um, 
I know that it's it's not as beautiful as you know as a supermodel or anything like that but you know if you go back to my original posts and such and see how much of a stomach I had like laying down here you will understand what I was dealing with so um, I have not tried to wear actual pants yet um, I don't know when I'll try to wear a pair of pants um, out of the house here's my makeshift necklace it is just a piece of string around my neck that I clip my drains to and it seems to help a lot um, I can tell you right now having them up here compared to having like two drains like in this world of difference from everybody I've talked to so I'll turn to the side um, I'll turn to the back and I'll show you all my stuff um, I am gonna try on a pair of pants these are old navies and they looked really comfortable they're two X's so I know that they'll be slightly big on me I did it on purpose so I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to put these on and try not to hurt myself in the process so these are 2x old navies no stretchy pants and then and then if we want to let me see so um my waist was about this high anyway so there's not really much that big of a difference um you can see a little baggy in some areas I'm very pleased I'm very happy I'm very very excited and if I was to pull down my shirt you wouldn't even really notice a whole lot um, you would just think that I was fat so um, I'll show you my glasses hey guys hey so I'm gonna show you how I take care of my drains since they will be being removed within the next day or two so in my earlier video, you can see that I have um, my drains right here, and then you can see the bruising I have around it. Um, one drain seems to produce a little bit more than the other. So as you can see, this one's pretty much clear, and there's nothing in this tube, and this one belongs to number one. Number one doesn't produce a whole lot of anything, um, usually about uh, minus about five uh, cc's where this one um, produces a lot more so I, I wear a makeshift necklace um, try not to show all of the stuff so we're just going to remove this from the necklace really quickly I'm also um, I've had a lot of uh, whoops had some Percocet earlier so I'm a little little loopy um, so as you can see this drain has more fluid in it and this is drain number two um, this is drain number two and typically when I because I'm about to go to bed is why I'm doing it now so typically I would wait um, every four hours and then I would strip it this is what's called milking your drain okay I know that's kind of a gross analogy but um, it's called milking your drain so I'm going to show you how it works Okay, so you, you put this down, and then you, you find the, the beginning of it. Okay, so my suture is right here, and then I'm going to pinch right above the suture. You can feel where the, the plastic's a little hard right here, harder than the rest of it. So you kind of pinch that off, and you pull. But you want to make sure that the, um, the hold you have on it is super good because you don't want to pull your drain out and you don't want to hurt yourself so as you can see I've got I'm, I'm keeping my fingers like this so I'm not letting anything come back and then I'm holding my fingers closed up here so I'm gonna pull a little bit more and then I'm gonna switch my hand back up here so I'm, I'm moving it and you can probably see it dripping so and then I put it back up here again and then I'm trying to get a good view of that for you okay so and then you just finish it off in there okay so you can see that the drain is completely clear okay it also should be flat where normally it would be more round so you know that you've got a vacuum um, processed so 
what I do so none of this that might be sitting in the little piece right here will come back into the tube, I go ahead and pop it open. So there's a little tab, watch it, popped open. Now it looks more like a grenade. Um, so now what I do is you're supposed to measure, there's little, there's a little tiny, um, like 25, 50, uh, 75, 100 cc's type thing um, in here. This is obviously five. Uh, wait, let me make sure. Yeah, that's five. That's about five cc's worth. So now that I have it open, I'm going to take it. I know how much is in it, and I'm just going to dump it out. Um, at first, when you get your drains, it's going to be like a dark red color. And then over time, as your body starts to heal, it will slowly get um, lighter and lighter, which is what it's supposed to. So pretty much um, today it has been functioning. They told me if it functions 25 and under for the whole day, every four hours to tell them, and they'll take them out Thursday. Um, so I will be calling my surgeon's office and asking them whether or not they want me to come in so they can remove the drains. This one has been getting barely five to ten, if that, like every time I change it. So, now, to fix it again, okay, so what you do is you fold it and squeeze all the air out of it you can. See how it's folded like this? Just trying to squeeze all the air out and then you replace the cap, just like that. And I did it wrong. <laughs> all right, hold on. It's because I can't really see. All right, so you replace the cap once you've smashed it and then once you got the cap on, if you let go, it'll have a vacuum. And that's how you know it's working. It has to have that concave. It has to have not a whole lot of air left in it. And then as you can already see, um, the vacuum has already started to create more of the, the fluid. So um, it will slowly drip into this as the night goes on. Um, and then, you know, when I wake up to take my pain medicine in about six hours, I'll come into the bathroom and redo it. I'm just going to look at this one again to make sure that maybe I do or don't. I don't. So I don't have enough in here to even bother with, so I'll just leave it alone and just mark it as five. So that is how you milk your drains. Um, I hope that really helps because I know a lot of people have never had one or they're curious on what it would be like if they had plastic surgery. Um, a lot of people say that they have a lot of issues with their drains. Um, I do not. I don't have any issues with it. Um, it's annoying that they're there, but I think because I did not allow them to put it in my groin area that I don't have nearly as much issues with it. So yeah, I'm about to go to bed. Um, uh, just making sure that the vacuums work. Made sure that there was no clots in the in the, in the hose because you can get clots in the hose. And then I'm just putting it back in my robe over here. Um, and this is what I'm going to sleep in because it's big and comfortable. And um, yeah. So here's my new glasses. I think I showed you guys in there earlier. Um, my medicine is slowly kicking in. It's not it's not taking it all away, but it's taking enough to where maybe I can get some sleep. Um, my color isn't as good as I would like it to be. I took a shower earlier, which was really nice. <sighs> um, today was pretty uneventful. Um, I hope everybody's doing really well. I'm about to upload this and then I'm going to post it and go to sleep. I love your beautiful faces. Thank you for supporting and loving me as usual. And I will talk to you again later today when I get up.